Hello everyone, today I have a video on this Big Tex Gooseneck trailer. This is a custom Lego build by myself. I designed this last year. Um, I recently put some stickers on, made a couple of changes to the detail. So now um, I've got it ready for a video. This trailer is based on the 40 foot trailer you can buy. Of course these trailers are only on sale in North and South America. now. I live in England and we have no trailers, anything like this. The longest trailer we can have for our pickup trucks is 7 meters long. This one I think is 22 meters long. So yeah, this is pretty crazy. Now this is of course a deck over, so this dark tan colour is representing wooden planks. Um, further down, these 2x2 two by si uh, two by two in black uh, represent a sort of steel grating for and it goes over the wheels. Of course, there are the safety strips for white and red, which go down the side. Um, I have seen trailers that have little orange reflectors. I haven't put them on here. Um, I tried, but it didn't look very nice. Um, so I've left that off. Of course, the main connection point for the trailer is here. I used some Technic parts. If I can move it just here, you'll be able to see how I did that. And of course I have a 1x6 tile which shows off the big tech sticker I had. And of course this red sort of circular point goes into the fifth wheel hitch. Now this trailer is 9 studs wide so you can fit 8 stud wide builds on it and just about 10 stud wide builds with the um, tyres overhanging. Now on the back we have some brake lights. Um, a small number plate uh, and some connection points for ramps. I don't have any ramps right now, unfortunately. Um, the wheels are quite small, they're in black, that looks really nice. There are some um, inverted slopes up there to act as sort of like wheel fenders. It's quite a nice detail, I think. But now let's see what we can fit on this trailer. All right, now I have a couple of um, trucks and cars to put on this trailer to see what we can fit on. Now we can fit one full size F250, we can just about fit a smaller single cab one on. So if we move the camera you can see two trucks is the maximum really, which is pretty good. We can also instead have two family cars, the Jaguar I-Pacers easily fit on. We can have a truck. I have the Freightliner box truck here. That fits on quite nicely, actually. There is room for moving a bit. I have a shipping container, which fits on quite nicely. And you can also fit a, you might be able to fit a car on the end, just about. But you can fit some pretty cool things on here. There is plenty of space. You can have an even longer, even longer container if you want. But I just have this smaller container here, which I built. But I am going to build some more containers soon. They are quite nice. Now connecting this trailer up to a pickup truck is pretty easy. I have a fifth wheel hitch here that is made using one of those cylinder pieces, and that connects into the bed of the truck with these two connection points near the back. That goes on there. And you drive the truck up, you open the bed of course. You do have to lift it a bit and then put it in. And then of course, put the jacks down before moving. Put the bed up and you're ready to drive off. Now one disadvantage of having such a long trailer in a city like this is maneuvering it around. Now my city is pretty, um, or the road plates are pretty big. They are custom, um, but even trying to move this out on such a big road with three lanes, as you can see, is very tight. Now, that is a one lane road. Um, getting it in is pretty hard as well. If you want to reverse it in, let's say you're bringing it down this road, if you want to maneuver it in, it is almost impossible. In fact, you might have to come down the middle lane, turn a bit. And then, yeah, it's, it's too hard, I think. 
Anyway, this is um, pretty much it for this uh, review. Thank you very much for watching. I have more mocks to come. So if you enjoyed this, stick around and hopefully more to come soon. So thank you for watching and goodbye.